Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that's a 1953 F100. There's a small block under the hood. She is looking amazing. I mean, look at the red paint, man. In the sun, that red paint is popping. It looks electrified. They've painted up the grill looking sweet. All the trim is looking good all around the truck. I mean, she is just amazing looking. I love the pinstriping there on the nose. And that paint, the reflections are looking sweet. Just absolutely beautiful job on the restoration on this F100, man. Got great looking wheels on it. And you gotta check out the custom interior. Look at that, I'm gonna pop the door open for you here. Look at that custom interior in there, all looking sweet. I love the color matching up with that red paint. Looking great. Seat's very, very comfortable too. We're gonna get in this thing and drive it here in a minute. You can check that out. I fit in there real nice and comfy. We got the tilt column in there. Door panels are looking sweet. I love the fact that they left the uh, gas fill right where it belongs, the tanks underneath the truck. Now, a lot of times you'll see these Coke coolers in the back of these trucks and they'll have the battery in it, so you can't even use the darn thing. But what's cool about this one, no battery in there. All you gotta do is put your beer in there, baby. The wood floor is looking sweet. It's got just a tiny bit of age. It's got that antique look to it. Those inner wheelhouses are all painted up nice. The bedsides are straight as an arrow. Another thing, the gate is real cool. They got these two little nylon um, buttons that push in. So the gate goes up and down. So God forbid you did haul something in this, which that would probably be me. I'd be going to Home Depot, loading two, two by fours in the back of it. As you look down the side of it here, man, the paintwork on it is just absolutely gorgeous. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this little 53. So you know we did our homework and checked it out before we bought it. And then the first thing that happens to every vehicle is they go up on the lift and they get inspected so we can decide anything that we may want to do to it mechanically or change the scope of anything the way things look. Also, Tom can answer any question you have about the truck, so give him a call anytime. It's 53 F100 time, baby. Let's go for a ride. We got a small block, but instead of dual four sitting on top, looking sweet, driving sweet. Tell you what, she is one beautiful machine. This 50, it's a 53. A buddy of mine had a 55 back in the day, and I tell you, whenever I get in an F100, it takes me back to those days in high school. I used to drive that baby around. I remember one day we were driving that thing around, and uh, we didn't have the bed in it. We had the wood out of it, restaining it or something. And I had some guy walk up to us and he looked in the bed and he said, what are you hauling that truck? And I looked him right in the eye and said, we haul ass in it. <laughs> we had a Cadillac 390 in that one. Like I said, this one's got a small block in there with dual four sitting on top. Just underneath the hood is just absolutely gorgeous in this beauty and she's driving great. I told you earlier too, look at all this space I got, man. A guy like seven foot tall could drive this thing. I mean, I'm just as comfortable as can be. She's going down the road nice and straight with no hands on the wheel. It's stopping straight with no hands on the wheel. Look at that. Just as sweet as can be, man. I'll tell you what. Then you look down here on the dash. These are dolphin gauges. They're in a stock location. 
by aftermarket gauges done very neatly. Then you see you've got your vintage air controls here. Then they put this little soffit in to put the radio in, and then your AC ducts are in there also. I'll tell you what, she is one beautiful little F100. And then they left the hood alone too, so the hood actually works like a normal hood. A lot of them put those uh, tilt forward hoods. As long as the hinges and everything are working, I'd much rather have just a regular hood on it. Just easier to operate. The exhaust has got a nice little rumble to it. And then also, don't forget, Tom can ship this thing anywhere in the world. You just give him a call at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway, no matter where you live. Now we're headed back to the shop right now where we're going to put this baby up on the left so you can check out the bottom side and you can see all the workmanship on the bottom side also. I suggest whenever you're looking at a car, get down on your hands and knees and look at the bottom of the car. That tells the story on the whole deal. Stick with us. All right, we're underneath the 53 now and man, it is pretty under here. As you can see, the exhaust is fairly new. I love the tips here. You can see also that the frame's been all boxed in and it's got multiple cross members have been added. They're looking sweet. We got lowering blocks back here. We got some extra help here on the uh, rear end housing, which is cool. Uh, right around a uh, 350 gear, if I remember correctly, and it is an open rear end. Um, you can see it's got the nice hangers on it. I love these hangers, man. They're mounted in rubber, they're bolted on. And you can see that extra cross member right there also. We got new brake line going front to back. You can see the frames all boxed in here. And this is what I was telling you about the fuel tanks and the stock location, which is really cool. I'll tell you a quick story. Me and my buddy were putting a uh, new transmission in uh, his truck and I was trying to drill a hole through here to put a cross member in there and guess what I did? I drilled a hole all the way through into the gas tank. Of course, that was when I was about 18, 19 years old. So I learned something that day. Uh, we've got aftermarket front suspension here, rack and pinion steering. Um, we've got disc brakes up front, big sway bar up here. And again, that um, they box the frame in all the way out here to the front. Everything under here is looking cool as can be. Oh, and it is a power rack and pinion uh, setup. Now there's loops here to tie down the truck. There's one on either side here, and I noticed them in the back also. I wouldn't put this truck on a trailer. I'd drive this baby. Oh, I forgot to tell you too, it's a 700R4 Trans. That's a four-speed automatic. We got the Koi wheels looking Koi, looking good. Up in that uh, wheelhouse is all nice and clean. She is one pretty machine. Now the front fenders are steel, the running boards are steel, and we got some big rubber out back here. We do have uh, drum brakes out back. And let's see, these are good years. Let's see if we can find a size on here. Here it is, 275, 55, 20s on the size. And I, did I mention these rear fenders are fiberglass? They're the extra wide ones. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood of this thing is sweet, man. We got a 350 power plant under here. We got a sheet metal intake looking sweet. Look at all those TIG welds looking sweet. Sheet metal valve covers also. And then we got two quick fuel uh, 450 CFM carbs on there. So they did a great job setting this thing up. She is looking absolutely gorgeous, man. Love the dual four setup. Love the sheet metal intake. We got Willwood brakes set up here. It has got a power booster, so we do have power brakes. Um, you can see the uh, headers look like they're stainless steel. They've been polished up. You see the belt drive here, all serpentine. Everything there is all polished up, looking good. We got an aluminum radiator with a nice, um, I just hit my head on the corner of this hood, so don't you do that. I'm liable to be bleeding to death here in a little bit. <laughs> we got the diehard battery there in the stock location, which is really cool. A lot of times, actually, I don't know if that's a stock location for a 53. A lot of times they were underneath the floorboard. So if you had a problem with it, you had to get underneath the truck. I love it being right there. So it's real easy to get at. Um, the AC compressors all polished up, looking sweet. I mean, just everything, man. 
Take this to any car show, pop the hood, you are definitely going to win some awards with this one. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your drive.